Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome back to another Timeless Pick a Card reading. Today's reading, we're going to have obviously these cards. Um, I have these lovely objects which I'm going to talk you through. And in the quote jar, we have quotes, two quotes by Aristotle, two quotes by Plato, two quotes by Epicurus. And I'm also trying out this new nighttime lighting. <laughs> Let's see how this works. I was supposed to do this earlier in the day, but I completely ran out of time and I have been experimenting with all kinds of different lighting. I actually like this. It's a bit dark. It's a bit mysterious. And look at that. We have some very interesting objects to choose from as well. Um, please don't be scared of spiders. They are beautiful, especially when they are little works of art like this jewel here. Can you believe that? It's this beautiful little jewelry spider that I managed to find. So please don't be frightened of sweet little, uh, you know, we're going to call her Miss Spider. I'm getting a Miss vibe there, <laughs> Mrs. Even. Um, we've got a frog that is also beautiful. Have a look at that. Isn't that stunning? And we also have a bat. Now again, please don't be frightened of bats. <laughs> I know bats don't have the best reputation at the moment, but uh, you know they're, they're still pretty cool, right? Think of Batman. <laughs> um, so please feel free to choose from between either group one, group two, group three, or of course if you want to choose via objects, this beautiful jewel of a spider. Uh, we have the frog and we have a cute little bat as well. So I look forward to seeing you in your reading. Hi there group number one. If you chose group number one then you are in the right place. If you chose this beautiful jewel of a spider. Now let's take a closer look. There's no need to be afraid if you're frightened of spiders. I am, uh, but I'm certainly not afraid of this beauty here, this jewel. And I'm also trying out some night time lighting guys. So uh, I hope that's okay with everyone. Um, yeah, I just, I just ran out of time today. So we've got this night scene. We've got this kind of dark <laughs> lighting at the moment, but I think this should still work just fine. Okay, so we've got water. And because it's nighttime, the colors may not come up so great. We've got a sort of, it is quite a blue kind of shade, uh, a deep blue shade. So as with any of my readings, take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. This is a great opportunity for you to really tune into your intuition to see what is being said to you. Okay, so we've got will. Almost a full moon. She's got a crescent moon on her head. This is a little bit like the High Priestess card in traditional tarot. And we do have some traditional tarot as well. We've got, now this was in its reverse position. Sorry, my apologies. This was in its upright. I did see these briefly this morning. So you've got the three of wands in reverse. You've got the queen of cups upright. You've got the Six of Pentacles upright. And there's one more. This is just a regular playing card set, but we can see this as the Seven of Cups, Seven of Hearts. Okay, so there's a lot of water energy on the table here for group number one. So straight away, this might be a bit of an emotional time for you or emotions might be running high at this time. When I looked at this earlier today, I could see that there's, there are some obstacles that you're dealing with. Okay, some obstacles, some blockage. When this is in the upright position, you're able to see the future, you're able to look ahead, and there's an excitement. You're gonna go 
towards that future, right? There's fire energy, you know, there's creativity, there's movement. These are kind of the colors, the reds, oranges, yellows, the lower chakras being able to go, right? Being able to create. I mean, this is in its upside down position. This is definitely indicating a blockage of some kind, okay? And it's pretty incredible that you've manifested all this water energy because really, I mean, the table is just full of water here. So one of the big messages that's coming through is that you need to be like water, okay? You need to flow. When there's an obstacle, when there's something in the way, instead of trying to dismantle that obstacle or take it down, the wise way is to be like water and to flow. And that's very much something that Bruce Lee said. He was a big advocate of this, be like water, flow, flow around the obstacle. You know, and that's a more creative approach. It's a more innovative approach. You've got this beautiful water card here. And in one of the tarot decks I have, the Queen of Cups is actually depicted exactly like this. She's got, um, you know, water up to here and, and then you see the rest of her. It's in the Light Seer's tarot deck. You've manifested this beautiful Queen of Cups. So what I'm gonna say here is that if you're in a relationship and let's say things haven't been going so great or something's been difficult, maybe there's an obstacle or maybe you're coming up against something, uh, definitely tap into your feminine side. So whether you're a man or a woman, be receptive, flow. Instead of trying to break down the barrier that you're dealing with, flow around it. That's definitely the guidance there. And if you're in a relationship and things have been tough or not working out, I would just say hang in there because things are going to come good really soon. Okay, um, your relationship should smooth out something. This is great energy for a relationship. If you're single and you're wanting to meet someone, I do think that that's that's about to flow into your experience. I think that love is coming for you. Love is very much here for you. Also, if you're single, you've got a lot of options. Uh, you're gonna have a lot of options. It's not like you're just gonna be, oh, there's just this one person and I haven't met anyone for several years. And no, you're gonna have loads of people come in. They're, they're, you're gonna have loads of opportunities. So don't, um, and that's, this is also coming up. Don't be too hasty. Don't make any hard and f fast plans. That's very much just popping in. Um, stay in the now. Stay in the now. Be like water flow. Go with the flow. Massive messages right now because there are a lot of opportunities coming in. And this could be work-related as well. This could definitely be work-related as well. There's something about, yeah, maybe you're not to plan ahead right now or you're not to think too far ahead at the moment. Uh, put planning on hold, okay? This is in its upside down position. Will is here as well. Isn't that fascinating? So there is a situation that you're in which is gonna require your effort, which is gonna require some willpower. Uh, it's gonna require you to, but I'm not, I'm not getting a sense, there's no, hard and fast effort required you're you're needed to be in the feminine receptive mode and possibly stop planning for a little bit okay so that's what kind of what's coming through but will is needed here and i did get a sense when i was looking at this card that you might be going through some kind of financial situation justice is coming in Okay, I, I do see this one as finances. I think there is a six of pentacles, if I remember correctly. I saw these briefly this morning uh, in the group two, but there's a slightly different. For you, I think this is about, I kind of think that there's either some money coming in for you or there's something on the table for you. Justice is coming. I think things have been tough for you financially. And I think that there's either money in abundance coming in that is rightfully yours or something's being corrected from the past. I think something's definitely being corrected and it might need a little bit of your will and effort. And you know, you are gonna need a bit of get up and go to 
materialize this or to make this happen or, or to you know if, if this money is entitled to you that it comes in there's some justice coming in here uh, and I am seeing that in relation to money interestingly but it could be in relation to love it could be in relation to work as well let's take a look and see what quote comes through but I mean overall this is this is a really nice reading guys this is this is good energy here I'm kind of yeah I am seeing that there's just a little bit of a pause button and she's got her eyes closed isn't that interesting and she's got her eyes covered <laughs> but she's got her eyes wide open that's really interesting all right so I've pulled this one out of the jar I hope this turns out with the dark lighting that I've got I've never done lighting like this before this is so exciting let's see if we can read it and if not I'm going to read it out for you hold on see if it'll focus come on focus it's not going to do it there we go if a little is not enough for you nothing is epicurus wow how I'm going to read this in the context of all these cards is to say there's a massive message of just sit tight sit tight justice is coming things are going to be corrected in your favor okay I, I feel like maybe you're working really hard maybe you're you know and you're just like when is this going to shift and change and when you know that, that feeling of when when am I going to be rewarded when it when when is stuff coming in for me when is something coming in for me and I think you have been really patient I know this might seem like a bit of a downer message like oh great but like <laughs> the stoics are great because this also teaches you that what's of value is within it's not actually out there and that a little or the little that you have can be seen as a bonus even because really we should be just satisfied with what's within you know we shouldn't need uh, any outside stuff so a little should be seen as a bonus even if a little is not enough for you nothing is I think I think you're you are this I think you are grateful and I think I think you've been working hard and I think you're doing great but I there's something there's a sit tight message and that yes be happy with the maybe if it seems like the little that you have but I feel like the more is coming in things are going to be corrected you'll see it's quite extraordinary what happens I know someone who's um, been working on this financial matter and yeah there's I think I mentioned it in the monthly that I did a couple of weeks ago that you know there's all this money that's just she didn't even know about it and it's coming in for her so it, it can be like that the universe knows how hard you're working the universe knows that you're doing a lot of good work and just put a pause on planning it's gonna be a lot of opportunities come in the future and flow with it flow with it and put in the will and the effort to keep things going as you are doing uh, and that's that's all that's needed right now so and the little spider I mean gosh look at this you know she's and I said in the introduction if any of you watched that so how do I work this one in? All right, well, we've got a little spider here. I mean, I think, she, I think the will is, um, is just weaving the web, you know, weaving your home, uh, keeping it going, keeping your home going, keeping your life going. And the abundance, the abundance is going to come in. She, she's, but she's got to uh, be receptive, you see. <laughs> that's the interesting thing isn't it I mean once she's constructed her web she doesn't have to do too much she doesn't have to go out and get things it kind of comes to her so maybe there's a little bit of that message coming in as well so guys 
I hope this has been a good reading for you. I hope the lighting, the unusual lighting has been okay. Let me know in the comments below how you got on with this reading. I would absolutely love to know. And thank you so much for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. You chose this beautiful little frog who arrived in the post today. Isn't it so cute? I love this thing. It's really sweet. So you chose a little frog. <laughs> Let's see what your cards are. I hope you like this new lighting. Basically, it's pretty much nighttime here. I wanted to do this earlier during the day and I have seen all the cards this morning, but um, I just ran out of time to record this, so I'm doing it now and we have this interesting lighting going on. Okay, uh, cleansing storms. Yes, I remember you group too. I was looking at this earlier this morning and I thought just about everybody is going through some kind of cleansing storm. It's so interesting right now. There's just there's a lot going on. As with all of my readings, take on board what resonates and please discard what doesn't. This is a good opportunity for you to use your intuition and see what messages come through organically for you. Okay, so we've got the unexpected. And for tarot, you've got the two of cups upright, which is lovely. To move the little frog. There we go. You have got the Six of Pentacles. We just had the Six of Pentacles in Group 1. So you've got it in the reverse position. And I remember when I looked at yours this morning, I had a slightly different take for you guys. And let's see what comes as I think about this now. Okay, so we've got the Nine of Cups upright. Well, these are all upright. I mean, this is just a traditional playing deck, but I like to use that now and then as well. Oh, beautiful. You've got the Ten of Pentacles. How wonderful. This is a great card. Love this card. Okay, so what are we seeing here? This is a really good spread, Group 2. This is, this is really quite nice. There are a few things going on here, and I think different groups of you. There's going to be like slices who are experiencing slightly different things. So, but I mean, one thing that's common amongst everyone is the cleansing storms. <laughs> okay. This, everybody's going through this right now. There isn't a person out there. I don't think I would love, I, and I think there are some people who aren't really going through this and that's great. Cause that's what I, I want for there to be more and more and more people who are having a wonderful time because that lifts the whole collective. So I'm always happy to hear when people are happy. Having said that, when I look at my friend circle, you know, uh, people who are in that friend circle who don't believe in astrology or don't like this stuff and who are living superb lives, you know, one just bought a house and uh, he's, he's living his dream life. But even he was sick recently, you know, knocked out for three weeks by some bugs. So, you know, it's um, everybody's having some form of cleansing storm is what I'm trying to say. One of my other friends told me that everybody she knows and she knows a lot of people like I'm an introvert. I don't know that many people. Um, she knows a huge amount. She said everybody she knows is having some kind of problem. There is a touch of that. But we've got to remember that these are cleansing storms. This is not forever. These storms are not going to stick around. It's just for this time. And I'm really reading this card as being Saturn in Capricorn. Okay. And, and, and this is going to stretch out to possibly Saturn in Aquarius as well. So that we're really looking at the next year and a half. And then after that, the next 2.5 years, we're kind of looking up to about 2025, that there are going to be these cleansing storms taking place. But what happens when we're cleansing? Look at all that new growth. Look at all the grass there. I don't know if you can see that green grass. Camera's not going to pick it up that well with my dark lighting, but there's a lot of green grass there. And I was talking to my mum about this just this morning. I was describing to her that this time is very much what I said in the Saturn in Capricorn video. I said 
this time for everybody across the board it's like giant concrete slabs everywhere but the smart people and the healthy good people are going to look for the little green shoots that grow between the cracks and there are a lot of green shoots that are coming up and that's where we have to keep our focus now for you I do see I think there are some of you who are in relationships and I'm seeing that that's going great if you're in a relationship and it's not going great, I want to tell you that either you're going to have a bit of a revival or a renewal or there's some beautiful energy to do with relationships here for you, okay? There's a wish fulfillment here. You are going to feel fantastic and with your partner, you're going to feel fantastic. So if you're having cleansing storms with your partner and it's not going so well right now, just know that it's going to clear it's going to pass and you're going to have this two of cups feeling again look at how happy they are with each other look at the cakes and all the goodness here it's so wonderful you know um, this is a beautiful card so if you aren't feeling this don't worry that time is coming I'm not seeing anybody in a breakup situation or any of that not not in this spread at all um, if you are single know that this is coming in for you okay and if you want a relationship I definitely believe that this is an indication this is a wish fulfillment type of scenario here you're going to have this okay and it might be that you might need a little bit more time on your own just to clear out the old um, you might still be in a clearing phase and that's that's fine you know um, there are some people who are falling in love in lockdown and there are some people who, who are just on their own doing their healing and clearing work and that's wonderful that's beautiful this is a really good time for that okay so if you are single dealing with your healing and clearing this is an excellent time for that you know uh, it matches the stars really really well we've got some other interesting things here so wish fulfillment we've got the ten of pentacles so either you are creating that dream life you're in the process of it right now maybe it's happening a bit right now this could this could easily be that friend i was talking about who he just bought his house things are going great but he was a little bit unwell you know he had a clearing storm right so you might be in that phase of life right now where you are building uh, that dream life but if you are not and you're deeper in this clearing process know that this is coming in okay all of this is not without purpose or meaning this is this is coming in i really want to say that this new earth is definitely coming in and believe me i know how depressing the world out is the world is out there right now i know it's um you know we're in lockdown at the moment which i kind of think is a bit unnecessary but um you know and yep that's a whole <laughs> thing but that i do feel that this card is kind of talking about that I, I i really do feel that this card is talking about the collective clearing that's happening right now and everybody you know has their ten of uh pentacles situation that, that will manifest it might take some time okay for some people this is something they're working through right now building this like my friend who you know he's got a really uh, prosperous situation at the moment it's wonderful right but then equally for some of us this will come once these bigger storms have passed and have cleared you know and that's good too we've also got this we're doing on time not too bad we've also got this card which is so beautiful and as I was reflecting on this earlier today let's see if oh, come on focus there we go I think that's a bit more focused it's a beautiful card the unexpected look at that blue moon look at that yeah once in a blue moon huh mm. and what do we have here and I saw these as twins and I saw these as twin moons actually I know this says blue moon which I did not see earlier today but I see these as twin moons and I see these as twins and I do think that there's some there is some kind of twin flame energy here because we've got this so this could be confirmation that the relationship that you are in is definitely your twin flame that's beautiful uh, and I do think that this could be confirmation that that person twin flame or soulmate that that person that you you are going to know you're going to recognize them you're going to 
read them like a book, you'll see right through them, you'll see everything about them and you'll still want them, that person, right? <laughs> you're going you're gonna to meet that person, okay, if you haven't. I can tell you, I, this is definitely going to come in. And Nine of Cups, it's a wish fulfillment thing, right? You, you're going to fulfill your wishes, you're going to fill your emotional wishes, fulfill your emotional wishes and your material wishes, okay? Th this is very much that kind of spread. Now this is in its reverse position. Let's go through that quickly and then we're going to draw a little bit of uh, something from the jar. So I saw this as somebody around you who might be being a bit, I kind of want to use the word stingy, but like there's stinginess, there's, there's conditions, something's conditional or um, there's someone around you who's, I just think being not so great right now and yeah let's let's take a look in the jar and see if there's any guidance that might clarify this this situation here but other than that I mean things things are really good and I think I am getting a big message of keep going you might be going through something really really tough but there is a big message of you're doing extremely well with the difficulties that you are going through the clearing is growing the new grass it's coming through, it's happening. There are, there's dream energy here. It's like these are the dream cards, you know. These are the things of our dreams. And it's like the more you clear, and yeah, it might be a bit painful, but at the same time, because there has to be balance, there's this duality here on this earth plane. The, the balance must happen. And you know, that this is a card of balance as well. We just talked about that in group one. And it's like... Yeah, there's, there's something a bit on pause for you as well, maybe, in regards to the balance. Mm. Okay, so you've got a quote from Aristotle. Let's see if it, if I can get it to focus. Come on, focus. Come on. Hmm, it's not focusing and I can't read it. All right, so it says here, it is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Wow. And you know, I think that might be the frustration that you're having with this. There's a difficult person in this spread. There's somebody who's difficult. There's somebody who is, I don't know, not, not playing the game the right way or um, they're being unfair. And I think they might be being a bit mm, judgmental maybe even because six we can kind of take that like sixth house and like we can even think of these things in that way too it's the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it because I would say that you know this right I would say that you're probably brilliant at this there's somebody in your world who is not doing this they're being really judgmental and difficult and maybe they're hating on the world you know, and they're just being a real downer about, hang on, we just lost a lot of light. Wait. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I think I know who this person is. Somebody in your space who, and they're part of this storm cleansing thing, and I think they are being a bit of a downer about the whole world. Because it's so interesting that we're talking about the whole world being out of shape. This is, a, this is a bigger card than just you, this storm cleansing. This is not some small personal card. I really got a Saturn in Capricorn vibe here. Pluto energy, the works. It's just like, this is bigger than just you. And I think maybe somebody in your space is depressed about how terrible the world is or something like that. And, and they keep like, yeah, they, 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 um, they're being a downer about it. Something along those lines. I don't know. I'm getting a vibe like that. And we've got the frog. Okay. This frog character jumping. And this could be like jumping from thought to thought. Something a bit, a bit slippery. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. I love this frog though. <laughs> I don't think this frog represents that person. But guys... Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to end this reading here. It has been such a joy to take a look at these cards for you. I hope this held some message uh, that 
is needed right now let me know in the comments below I always love reading your comments even though sometimes it does take me a while to get back but please know that I do read everything and I really appreciate it because it keeps me going all right well thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you next time hi there group number three if you chose group number three you are in the right place you have also chosen this beautiful little bat <laughs> i remember when i showed these to my mum, and she was like why have you got all these crazy objects <laughs> like she doesn't she didn't like the spider and she wasn't too keen on the bat either but i'm like come on it's so beautiful and we must think of nice bats there are nice bats out there you know like batman he was a good one <laughs> and I, I I don't know if they have any correlation to the guys let's see I just kind of I received these in the mail today and I just popped them on the different piles and I saw the piles very briefly this morning so I'm kind of sort of looking at this sort of for the first time all right so you've got this card here which says growth plants this is beautiful love this card I haven't seen this one before it's really stunning and look is that looks like kind of green grass on the back of the let's see if that'll focus it's not focusing I don't know well it looks it looks very green and beautiful anyway but that does look like green grass or something <laughs> and I mean we've got this greenery in the an antlers here they're called antlers right okay by the way take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't because these are general readings for quite a few people this card how stunning beauty love this this reminds me of that British Airways ad where you know all the people are walking across the desert and then they all like merge into like lips and the eyes and isn't that interesting but clearly this is this is beauty this is you know all these natural objects making a beautiful face how lovely it's very creative okay we've got the judgment card upright and we've got two pentacles upright lovely again I can see that you're busy <laughs> you're doing a lot and the five of swords and you've got the three of cups look at that you've got everything upright love these cards this is great it's a great spread I remember when I saw this earlier in the morning I got a sense that you're busy and it's good busy it's not um it kind of feels like i don't think you're being overwhelmed or overworked or any of that i think you're doing great i think you're juggling i think there's a lot of you're, you're prioritizing well you're getting things done you're being creative and you're growing and this is a really really great spread even though it might not seem too exciting on <laughs> the outset but like it's a really good solid spread it's a lot of confirmation that you're on the right track you're doing well you're growing you are being creative you are prioritizing you are getting things done even though you might not think you are I know I'm always hard on myself I know I always think oh you know I didn't create 20 videos this week so <laughs> you know <laughs> I've only just done one or whatever and then I feel terrible no it's like don't be hard on yourself don't judge yourself okay don't you gotta stop doing that I gotta stop doing that too um, don't judge yourself but this judgment card is not about that this judgment card is actually about and you can see here it's about and I like the depiction in the light seers tarot for this it's it's a it's a, an awakening but it's like your soul is graduating to the next level okay and it, and you've got courage you want to be judged you want to be seen you're like you know yeah look at me god angels and the world you know i'm, I'm ready um it's a really great card it's quite deep there's quite a lot in that but it does it feels like 
you're getting ready to ascend kind of thing. It's really, really lovely. It's creativity. Look at this. This is, this is art. This is that kind of Venus, Taurus, flowers, art, creativity type card. This is wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful energy. The only card here that's not so great. So, I mean, I touched on this. You're juggling, you're busy, you're growing, you're ascending, you're going up, okay? Or you're getting ready for this, or you've just awakened to a new level, or you've just gone somewhere, you know, it's this kind of thing, or you're going somewhere that's coming up. There's beauty, art, either you're enjoying that, or that's part of your work, part of what you do. So there's all these things going on here. There's a lovely social energy here. This is also beautiful. It's a lot of beauty, a lot of great stuff, a lot of nice stuff, but we've got this five of swords. So what's this doing here? <laughs> Let's take a look. There is, it feels like there's something in your space that is like, maybe you are competing with others. It's, it's got a competitive feel to it, actually. That is what I am getting with this energy. I think it's just a competitive thing. There's nothing sinister going on here. If this was like the Seven of Swords, then we've got some deceit. That's not great, but this is more, I think, competition, what's going on here in this card. Let's take a look at something from the jar. Another thing just popped into my mind. Yes, this is a social card. I'm gonna bring the bat in. My dad had a really great phrase in Hindi that was something around, come to my place and let's hang out like bats. <laughs> I can't remember what it is, but it's something to that effect. We can, no, it was something like we can hang together. Like it's something like that. And it's in Hindi and it's this really cool quote. And that actually reminds me of this. It does feel like this is a really nice time for you to be social. And it's a relaxed kind of socializing um, because I think everything's kind of going pretty good. Maybe there's a bit of competition at work, something like that, not so great, but this is really nice social energy right here. And that thing about come to my place and let's hang like bats. It, the, the, I'm trying to remember what the quote is, but it's really cool and it's all about being casual. It's like, you don't have to do up your place. These are the friends, the pals that you can invite to your slightly messy home and everyone just doesn't care and they're gonna have a good time. It's that kind of thing. Like, yeah, I think that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting here. It's really quite sweet. So we've worked the bat in. Let's see what we're going to get from the jar. This is a nice spread, guys. This is, they've all been really good this time. Um, you know, and I think everyone is going through some form of difficulty. You know, it's... That's, that's just this time is like that. It's going to be a bit tricky, a bit challenging across the board. But you're, you seem to be doing pretty good, quite well, very well, in fact. And I feel like that another big message here, I think your guides and angels, and I did think that this morning, they're very much wanting to say to you, well done, you're going great, keep going, keep doing what you're doing. You know, you don't need to change too much. Maybe, I mean, just enjoy yourself a bit more. You know, maybe that's the purpose of this, just relax, enjoy some art. Um, a bit of escapism is a good thing. You know, it's actually an important thing. I said this to one of my clients this week. I said, what did I say? And I left that reading thinking there were so many more things I could have said. And I keep like more things keep coming into my mind today. And it's so annoying because like I did the reading yesterday. But um, what did I say to him? I said that like just as procrastination, a bit of procrastination is needed to keep your mind well rested because creativity comes from a well rested mind. Your soul needs a bit of escapism, you know, and, and creativity will come from that. It's okay to, you know, spend a bit of time and watch an old TV show from the 70s. <laughs> Might be drawing on a personal example there. <laughs> um, sometimes I like watching old TV shows anyway. Okay, what do we have here? It's Plato, I can see that much. Ooh, oh, well on that. Look at that, we were just talking about, is it okay to, you know, enjoy 
a little TV show from the 70s. And I was saying, yes, it is. And now we're reading this. Pleasure is the greatest incentive to evil. Do you know, I think this is, I know what this is. This is excess. And this is, you see, because we've got some Taurus type energy here. This is just don't make your entire life about pleasure, right? That, that's what this is. Because if that's all you do, it's like just eating, if you, if you only ate sweets all the time. It's like that, it's just gonna be a disaster. So I mean, I think this is just a message of don't overdose on the escapism or the procrastination or whatever it is. It would be like if you only ate sweets, you would get sick. But you, you should have some, see? And because there's a, there's a balance here, there's a little bit of art, but you are clearly working. You are clearly, you know, and this is an, also a call for you to socialize. There is a bit of a request for you to relax a bit, okay? But in moderation, don't go overboard. <laughs> don't make that your whole life. You gotta keep things going. You got work to do as well. We all have work to do, right? And, but I think I, I get the sense that you're fine. I think you've got to find your, your crew. If you want to hang with bats, like the bats, or hang in the cave, or whatever that quote was. If I can find the quote, but then it's in Hindi, so how would I write that on the screen? I don't know. But it's a really, really cool quote. So, guys, I'm going to leave the reading there. This has been a lovely one. There's, there's really nice energy here. Everything's upright. Everything's going smoothly. And I think you're getting... Um, a bit of a, a message just to keep just to keep going that you're doing just fine and don't go overboard in any one thing but if this has been a good reading for you please do let me know in the comments below I absolutely love reading your comments and how these readings go sometimes I get the most amazing comments where yeah sometimes a reading that I've done is like eerily spot on I, I, you know and every time I record one of these sometimes I record them and I just think I can't imagine anyone will relate to any of this and then, but then everyone like people do and, and some of the videos especially the one I did at West Head I almost did not launch that because I was just like oh there'll be nothing here for anybody and and that was one of my highest rating picker cards ever that did so well and so it was like yeah wow I I never know, <laughs> I don't have a clue. So I just read the cards and read what I'm feeling in, the, in that time. But it's a fascinating thing because you've all gathered in the future to watch this. You see, the future has already happened and I am tapping it. So there is like uh, a whole thing about this. I'd love to do a video about that one day. Um, but anyway, I'll, keep, I'll stop blabbering on. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.